right. I got a little too much sun and now I'm a little red. So I do not match. But anyways. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this. What is this called? Lip paint? Lip... <clears throat> Tattoo Junkie. It's like a glitter lip. What? So basically it comes with a... Um, long-lasting matte lipstick with glitter. I got the shade Skinny Dip, which kind of comes with like a mauve color there with like a coppery, I don't know, kind of like a coppery red, orangey color maybe. We'll see. I seen, I got this at Walgreens, but I saw this in a video like months ago, maybe Tati or somebody. Either way, um, it's the first time I've ever actually seen them. So score, I think they had four shades in the actual store online. There's a whole bunch more like different colors and things, but um, this was like the most wearable color. <laughs> um, you know, glitter on your lips is pretty darn wearable. But um, yeah, so I thought this would be a fun first impressions. It, I guess it's a filming day. I'm doing my eyebrows right now. We'll see how that lasts. But um, yeah, I figured look, let's try it out. Um, it does. It's one of these where you have to like cut open. So basically, this is the instructions. Um, apply it like a regular liquid lipstick, and then pat with like your finger the actual uh, glitter. Who is calling every time I go to film? What? Okay, I think I got yep. So I got this and the little glitter vial. So even though I might not ever wear this in public, this is a very wearable shade of liquid lipstick and a little thing of glitter. I mean, how cute for like $6.99. Okay, so it said to shake this. You can kind of see where it was separating just from sitting on the shelf. So, I don't know how long I'm supposed to shake this to. Like nothing is happening though. Ooh, hopefully this isn't dried up. Okay, so it said while it was still wet. So I'm gonna um, try to do this quickly. Uh, let me put up a mirror somewhere. I'm so red. Can't even see. Um, let me swatch um, this on the back of my hand for you at first. And I've got some old testing out an eyebrow product. I'm not sure which one of these are going to go up first, but um, it, it's lasting on my hand, so just don't mind that. Okay, so a doe foot applicator. Whoopsies. Of course, I just got it on my finger. Um, okay. Oh, I don't. I don't think I s vanilla. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Uh, but on this side right here, it's a little shiny from where it's like separated. We'll see. Um, ooh, very creamy. Very creamy with my finger. Did I not bring anything to wipe my hand off of? Ah, I'm just going to shake this again for another second. That might have just been already stuck to the um, actual wand itself, so maybe if I actually just kind of like that, maybe not a bad color, kind of a, it's got a purple undertone, which is fine. I typically like a little more warmth, but like in about two months when I'm a little lighter in complexion, I think that's going to look so good, oh my gosh. Okay, so... Here we go. Oh, let me get my glitter ready. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. You don't make a mess. Oh, oops. So this is the color. It's got a little safety thing on it. So isn't that pretty? Um, oh my God, thank God that was on there. I just dropped it in my lap. Okay, let me just close this. Okay. 
okay. So that's already dry. Ugh, crap. You have to work really quick. You can really feel the glitter. This is definitely not how I imagined it looking. I'm going to try and put a little bit more in like the corner because so that's kind of where it's not sticking. Um, cool color though. I like it. Um, and see if that kind of works. But I don't know since I'm going over glitter if that's going to... Let me kind of just dust away some of... I'm going to have glitter everywhere. Oh my god, this was maybe a bad idea? It's kind of cool looking, though. I got it in my... I got it in my mouth. Okay. Okay, so... Should I go ahead and get my finger ready, maybe? I don't know. Okay. I just can't get it to stick. You know what's catching off? Oh, I the people on the internet make it look so easy. You're not going to load your finger up. When look, I can really feel it on my lips. Okay, I've got little remnants. Let's see what. See what's on my hand is still tacky, but uh, on my lips it dried like that. So this is obviously not a true representation, but it. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see if I can do some cleaning up. Uh oh, well, it's like stuck to my skin. <laughs> So, transfer resistant. Like, look how much wider my neck is. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, let me just fix the camera here and I'll give you my thoughts. I have to wait a minute. Sorry, guys. That's even worse. What? Uh, what? I might have to wait a few more minutes again. Oh, but let's see what this looks like in the sun. Talk about um, highlighting your T zone. Okay, so my thoughts are I know the lighting's still a little weird, but so my thoughts are. Oh. It did not feel bad by itself, like the liquid lipstick itself. Um, I haven't obviously tried it alone or anything, but adding this glitter, which is to be expected, you're adding something dry and crusty to your lips. Your lips are going to feel dry and crusty, okay? Um, they look cool. Not exactly how I couldn't really get them cleaned up. You've probably seen it. It looked horrible, I'm sure. Because just glitter, because this dried too quickly, the glitter didn't have much to stick on. I kept having to go back over it, and you've seen in there. And although the lipstick is smudge proof, I, I now have glitter all over my hand from doing like the kiss test. So I'm a little, I'm a little, I don't know, I think it looks cool. This is obviously not an everyday look or anything. I think it's meant to be fun. Um, Halloween's coming up. I might get the red one for that. I keep getting it in my mouth, so there's that. For what this is, it's perfectly fine. $6.99 for some kind of lip product to play with. Okay, that it, it's fun. I'm going to probably use this by itself for sure, and maybe use this in other ways. Because this is, it's cosmetic glitter, what is what it is. So I can use it in different ways. Or just as regular glitter, I guess. I don't know really what the difference is. But overall, I like this, but just not this together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I think that's kind of what I've been seeing, the consistency of, um, on like the internets where 
it is what it is. Um, don't go in expecting something different. I could not clean it up, you know, like an Instagram uh, lip where it's all like cut. It was just too much fallout. I guess I could probably like Photoshop it or something, but um, it's fun. It is what it is. It's not a spectacular review, but it is, it's just a fun look. I like the look, especially anytime I move in different lighting, like you can see the sparkle, it's pretty, it's cool, I like it. <laughs> so yeah, that is my little mini first impression review. What did you guys think? Have you used something like this? Um, what was it? From the tat tat Tattoo Junkie Amigush. Um, I, they had tons of colors online when I was looking online. Uh, just in the Walgreens itself, there was only... There was Skinny Dip, like Rebel, Bubblegum. <sighs> yeah, there was like a pink, a red, this one, and maybe a purple or something. I can't remember, but um, this was the one I, I chose. But maybe maybe different colors apply differently. You know how sometimes with like regular lipsticks and liquid lips and um, regular lipsticks, uh, it does that. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this or something like that. Is this the only company that like pairs the two together? This is the only one I've ever seen, so yeah. Alright guys, I will see you later. If you like these type of videos, give me a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you later guys. Bye!